Reports mention that the Galaxy S8 might include some LG parts. Apple's AirPods go live, and can you believe that there were long lines at stores? And TCL teases the next BlackBerry to arrive at CES 2017. I'm Jaime Rivera, the dog keeps barking, and raise your hands for those of you that are still hungover from the weekend. This is Pocket Now Daily. The official news today begin with deals. I know a lot of you are big fans of third-party Android launchers. I am not that much. It depends on the OEM, really. Uh, but for those of you that enjoy Nova Launcher, which I know is probably one of the most popular, well, it's currently just 99 cents at the Google Play Store. That's pretty much a lot of money down from five bucks. So I would move on that even if you don't need it. Other official news have to do with product launches as uh, Apple has made their AirPods official in stores. I'm not exactly sure if the company actually ended up selling out or not, but what I do know is that there were long lines at Apple stores trying to buy these things. And I'm trying to figure this out. We actually chose not to review them, mainly because we feel that they're just not functional enough. But hey, if you want us to review these products, leave us a comment down below. Um, sure, if they fall off, I will laugh during the video. I will tell you that. Other official news have to do with BlackBerry, or better said, TCL, which is the parent company that's dealing with BlackBerry hardware. For those of you wondering exactly when we're getting the next product, believe it or not, the company has just teased that we should expect something at CES 2017. I will be there covering it live, and I cannot wait. I do love TCL hardware in Alcatel. I do love what the company is doing with BlackBerry. I can't wait to give it a try. Now, speaking of product announcements, those of you expecting the Galaxy S8 at CES, forget it. MWC trusted sources claim, forget it. Apparently we're getting an event in New York City to announce the S8. One thing that we will be getting in January is the postmortem for what happened to the Note 7. So yeah, delayed S8 would make a lot of sense. We hear that Samsung plants a lot of innovation here, but we can't wait to hear what happened with the Note 7 as well. And finally, the very interesting news today has to do again with the Galaxy S8 and what to expect with this phone. We've heard a ton of changes from a edge to edge, glass, full design. That's great. We've been wondering where the fingerprint scanner is going to be. And uh, well, we hear from a source that apparently the reason why we're not getting a fingerprint scanner at the front, or at least not in the glass, is because it's going to be in the back. And uh, well, that could be the favorite placement for many companies. I know that Google made a big deal out of it, and we do know that Google has been mingling with Samsung over the future of Galaxy smartphones. So it could be that they're being forced to put it at the back, we're not sure. But another thing that we're hearing is that apparently there will be an LG battery on this phone. LG has been very famous for its battery technology, its tier design ever since the LG G2. It makes a lot of sense in the world for Samsung to want to share responsibility with the S8. I feel that that's a great idea, but it leads me to the question of today. Uh, let's move back to the thing about the fingerprint scanner. Galaxy phones are the most popular ones, but do you think that Samsung should move to the back? Or do you think that the company should remain with its current design? In my case, I feel that a back-mounted fingerprint scanner would be great, but leave us a comment down below. We'd love to know your opinion. Friends, you know the way it goes. If you want to get the news earlier before the video is filmed, follow us on pocketnow.com and hit that subscribe button down below for more videos like this one. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera, or on Instagram at Jaime Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you tomorrow.